What is up, cryptopreneurs? Last video, I was talking about this long-legged dragonfly doji, this green one right here. And uh, for those of you that watched that video, I just want to make this quick little update. Up here was one, and I'm going to brush back here, right? Signal to me a downtrend. Here, I made a video. Here, I made a video talking about there's probably a pump coming off here. Likelihood of a pump coming here, but I said, you know, I don't trust it. And the composite man could just be giving us a fakey fakey, right? If you're trading, a good way to look at it, not everyone agrees, but a good way to look at it would be you're just up against one single huge opponent called the composite man. So he got me, right? I said it might be bait and he got me right here. So I just put a little in and I put more in actually on the way down. But then lo and behold, what did we get here? <laughs> What's this right here? Let's zoom in on that. I made that video about dragonfly dojis. It's down in the description if you want to check it out. I don't want to repeat all the information. A long-legged dragonfly doji usually, or not usually, but it's an indicator of a trend reversal. And when you see it at the bottom like this, it's usually going to be a pump coming. It faked out, right? But then look at this. The next two days later, look at it. For these to confirm, you want to look at this one. See this big fat red one here? If that was green, that's called confirmation. That's when it's supposedly safe to put in a long, right? And so that's a huge red one. I got in first because I like the dragonfly, and it worked so well earlier, 10 days before on a short. But, uh, okay, anyways, I was talking about, and look at this, it, big another big dump, and it, look at this. It printed another one. It's almost like the composite man is just chilling somewhere, listening to me, laughing at me, right? <laughs> but I really like this one, and I wanted to make this video like, like an hour or two ago, and I should have. I started firing this up, and as soon as I did it, I started pumping. This this was a big red one here. Look at this. It, it dumped all the way down here. So this is going to be real interesting where this thing closes. This will close at 6 p.m. Um, Tuesday night, this one here. I don't know why it's doing that. My magnet's off, and it won't let me draw where I want. Anyways, this one here, the December 13th candle we're on now. One thing I don't like about YouTube crypto videos is people talk about trading a lot and they don't actually show their trades and it's kind of annoying so one thing i like to do is show my trades and for those of you watching here's my trade my entry price was at 688 on that dragonfly doji on december 10th candle i just put in a little bit and i, I put in more and more and more and uh i made a mistake right but but I'd make up for it just recently when the price dipped down to six dollars and fifty cents i put in quite a bit more and as you can see now, it's up $37. Uh, my trip, my position's up to 1100 times 3x leverage. And I got my entry price down to $6.65. So I wanted to make this video a while ago when this big candle was, this candle around now was a big fat red one. But it just started pumping here. And look at, look at this in Robinhood, Bitcoin on Robinhood. Just something happened. I just went straight up in there. So, uh, Anyways, what I was going to say, and now that's kind of obvious, is watching for the the double the double long-legged right here. It's going to be interesting. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Central Time, this one here closes. And if it closes green, it probably probably looking at a pump, probably looking at a pump over the next you know six, seven days or so. Um, it's just going to, I'm just going to have to play it by ear. And... Uh, you know, it could turn red again, but it was red for a long time. And it was just going down and down and down and down, and it got obvious to me. So it was a good time for me to get back in and lower my entry price. And now all of a sudden, a mistake two days ago is now looking like a wonderful situation. Um, I don't want people to follow my trades because I can be wrong, but I've learned to just just to calm down, relax, to leg in. Leg in is very important the way I do it. Now, a lot of people on YouTube, they'll like go in and out real quick, boom, boom, you know, and I, I don't, I guess I'm just not very good at that, and I don't really have time. It's not really something I want to do or can do, but uh, this long I'm in now, I opened up two days ago, and it's liable to stay open for a few more days, maybe a week. Um, I'm going to play it by ear. But I just want to show this. And this is this is real interesting. For those of you interested, keep an eye, keep an eye on what this thing's gonna do. See, see that? Look at that. 
Look at all these dragonfly dojis at the time being. That's a third one. If it were to close, it'd be pretty pretty similar. Watch for it to close here. These long wicks on the bottom is a real real uh, strong indicator that a reversal might be coming. You know, there's no guarantees, but uh, I just want to bring it to your attention and uh, show my trade. There it is. Um, it was down like 60 bucks, almost 70 bucks, I think. I've learned to just roll with the flow. And, uh, you know, when I first started doing this, if I if I made a trade and I sat here and watched watched it lose and lose and lose right away for 24, 48 hours, you know, I, would, I wouldn't know what to do. But now I've just, I've learned a lot. And uh, let's not talk too much about that stuff. But what do I want to say? Oh, um, so this is a uh, this green pump here. November twenty first to the beginning of December was about forty two percent week to week, and now it's dumped about this is about eighteen percent, nineteen percent. I think it's about nineteen, yeah, nineteen percent dump, give or take. Just call it nineteen percent dump. So it could be over. My initial analysis back here in late November was I was putting in a short, I was legging into a short and I was saying, I was saying there was a, uh, there was a dump coming. Right. And I was saying it's coming down into the, the dark blue. Right. And my very first initial analysis of this situation back in late November is actually just about perfect. But this dragonfly doji, for those of you who watched my last video, I, I got excited on this, this dragonfly doji here, long legged doji. December 10th. And I changed my opinion. I, sh I should have just, you know, that's just how it is. Um, <laughs> obviously, you don't have to be perfect. I'm not perfect at this. And you don't have to be as long as you get a good feel for what's going on. And and so this this opened up Oh, this white line on December 10th. It bounced off my white line here. And it's interesting how this really come in. That's, that's a real, a real battle zone. Watch out for a double dragonfly. They don't really mean anything, but they are a sign of a bullish reversal when they're at a bottom of a of a dump. That's quite the dump. That's quite the dump right there. The, the three dumps out of the yellow are very significant. And besides that, you don't really see one over 20%. Let's measure. I said 19. Let's see if I was, see if that was still correct. Uh 17 and a half percent. Eight 18%. Um that might be about it. It might come a little lower. But this is pretty exciting um, to watch tomorrow at 6 p.m. That candle, see if it's red or green. It's eight last eight months of the history of Chainlink, disregarding where it comes from the yellow. Uh, when it comes to the yellow, this is the last three times Bitcoin dumped. Interesting enough, right? So Bitcoin's pumping, and uh, Chainlink obviously isn't near the yellow. So, but but the other times, let's see, let's see this dump here. Just, just for a feel, look at that. Look at that dump. Seventeen and a half percent, eighteen percent. Look at that one. This is the first time I've actually went through and measured. I've just been eyeballing them. Let's measure. Let's measure this one. Twenty percent, twenty percent. Let's measure this one. Oh, my ruler disappeared. Ah, oh, so annoying. Just stay on, please. <laughs> 20% and uh, it's, it's almost there, right? That's, that's almost it. That's the behavior over the last eight months. That's probably it. And we've got the double double long legs at this point in time. So uh, I don't know. If, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, man, uh, the, the Google, University of Google, the textbooks and, and trading say – after after these big dragonfly doji any doji reversal candlesticks like this one here this next candle was red so that that's confirmation there's a short is probably a good play and so this one here dragonfly doji here the next candle turned out to be red so that would say don't don't long right <laughs> And the next day confirmed that. I mean, it didn't, didn't confirm it, but bow, boom, came all the way down to $6.45. But look at that. It printed another, another Dragonfly Doji. Uh, that body's a little thicker, but it's still still pretty close. And look at that right now. I mean, like right now, it's, I'm kind of glad I've waited now because this is what I was going to say might happen. 
but this still has uh, still got it on there about 10 hours or so, give or take, for uh, this to close. So obviously, if it closed right now, that'd be another Dragonfly Doji type Doji. And uh, yeah, it's it's looking bullish. It's looking it's looking pumpy. It's coming out of the blue zone, and uh, I could still be wrong. It could still come further. It could still make another run at the bottom of that blue zone, the dark blue zone. I'd be surprised if it comes down further than six dollars and twenty cents. I'd be probably more. I'd probably be surprised if it comes below the low it's set now at six forty-five. And uh, I don't know. This, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. I'm looking for pumpkins now. Like I say, it could come down a little more. Maybe it comes down to six dollars and thirty cents, and then comes back up. But it's just a matter of time, right? As long as long as Bitcoin is strong, as long as Bitcoin is strong, then. I'm not worried about the, the thing I'd be worried about is is for Chainlink to come down and do this right when Bitcoin crashes down the next leg. Right now Bitcoin Bitcoin comes down to twelve thousand, Chainlink will follow and probably come down under five. Right, that that's the one thing I'm worried about. But I don't I think we're at least a few weeks away from that, and uh, I've talked about that before. Just for okay, let's see this trade. So yeah, that's up. And uh, I was kind of I want to make this video while I was still down because I was gonna say, what do you guys think is gonna happen? Because I had a feeling this was gonna happen. I didn't think it's gonna happen now. But like I say, we've still got about ten hours to watch it. And uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. This is what I'm looking at right here. This is the chart I've made for Bitcoin that I'm looking. Uh, let's let's zoom out real quick, and I'll end this video. Let's give us an elevation. See what's going. On. This is. This is in this parallel channel downtrend. These three vertical blue lines here, here, and here are those times where chain link has went into the yellow and come crashing down. It coincides with the last three big crashes of Bitcoin. See that? Boom, boom, boom. That was a pretty big one here. But, but anyways, this is what I'm looking at, and this is what I'm talking about. This is why I still think it's got some time right here. Bitcoin's going to be forced. This is about the end of the year. This is about the end of December right now. If Bitcoin stays at the current price, where it's going to be forced to hit the top of that channel. Now, it could do it sooner, but when it comes down, see what's happening. When it comes down, when Bitcoin hits the top of this channel, and it's basically been those three times when Chainlink hits the yellow, that's when Bitcoin takes, takes the next leg down, right? And that's the one thing I'm worried about with the trade I'm in right now. So, But for long term, for, for hodling, and, and accumulating now's a wonderful time to be dollar cost averaging and holding for a year or two or three or more you know chain link and bitcoin ethereum all this all the good stuff and uh see i wouldn't be surprised right that's that's the one thing i want to avoid in the trade i'm in currently so i want to make sure i get out of it in the next you know 14 days or so whenever you know i'll play it by ear but that's it right that's probably what it's going to look like and this is like thirteen thousand bitcoin twelve thousand bitcoin right Maybe maybe it comes down to this dotted line. Boom! There's our ten thousand dollar Bitcoin, early January, right? But that's just kind of speculation, man. I've got to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.